are working new developments tonight on a tragic fire investigation. A mother and daughter are found dead after fire or flames break out inside a Providence apartment today. The victims were identified as a 33-year-old woman and her four-year-old little girl. And tonight we're learning much more about possible safety violations that may have contributed to their deaths. Eyewitness News reporter Danielle North joins us live from the scene now with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Well, here is what we have learned tonight. Fire investigators as well as building safety inspectors tell Eyewitness News that they do believe that that basement unit was an illegal unit to this property here. They also tell us that the two means out of that apartment were not up to code, among other issues. We've also learned tonight that there were no carbon monoxide units in the apartment and only one working smoke detector. I banged down the door. I'm calling 911 at the same time. Just more than 24 hours after this tragic fire claimed the lives of 33-year-old Tammy Palma and her 4-year-old daughter, Valinda, neighbors are leaving flowers and small mementos near the basement apartment at 417 Charles Street. Fire investigators believe that basement unit was an illegal third apartment and cited the owner, Marco Sanchez, with a notice of violation. They'll look at the, uh, the overall building permit, plumbing, mechanical, electrical, and all those things that were done, repairs that may have been made um, or upgrades that may have been made to the property and whether or not that those upgrades were made um, with the proper permits. Eyewitness News has learned the property was converted to a legal two-family home back in 1996. Fire officials say the use of illegal units has been a chronic problem citywide due to the lingering recession. They're not putting in carbon monoxide detectors, and um, you know, and those are the things that certainly will give uh, a person early warning and the avail and the opportunity to get out of a property uh, alive safely, even in an illegal apartment. Now, as investigators continue to examine the construction of this basement apartment, neighbors are mourning the loss of a mother and her child, knowing that you're going to have a woman and her baby living in a basement. You could have probably saved their lives a little bit. It's terrible. Tonight we've spoken with members of the Providence City Council and we have learned that there, uh, there is now an effort underway to reform a task force in the city to crack down on these kinds of illegal apartment units. We're live tonight with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News.